Hi guys, this is John with Louisiana Aquaponics. We're going to do a video on the new quick hitch. So I wanted to uh, show y'all that and what I think about it and what I'm going to need y'all's help to do with it. We have been getting a lot of views from the females. And we want to say welcome and we are glad to have y'all. It is nice to see more and more ladies getting involved in this and hopefully wives in that with your husbands and boyfriends with your girlfriends. So, uh, welcome to the tractor community and we are glad to have y'all. Alright, so we're going to do the new quick hitch. I also want to address a couple of questions I've had. I, asked, I had a question about the what I do with my hoses when I take my backhoe off. Uh, it is a bit of a pain to figure out what to do with them because they're so long and if they get put in the right place They have a potential for getting damaged when you have a three-point implement on it. Anyway, so y'all ready for this new uh, quick hitch? So let's take a look at this new quick hitch. Are you ready for this guys? One, two, three. And there we go Just joking guys this is the Harbor Freight one of course you can figure that out by looking at it um, I just wanted to throw it on there and see how well it fit uh, and how well it worked and believe it or not on my uh, woods it actually hooks up really good uh, I do need to get the spacers to fill in for the pins right here and I do need the longer sweeping hook uh, because you got to tilt the tiller back and you got to lean this one with the top link out a little bit to get it to snatch right up and then you have to readjust everything once it's on so I really don't want to deal with that so but um, anyway with the trick of photography we're going to switch right over right now all right so we got the tractor portion and it's a two-piece hitch and you got an implement portion okay and these two made up together all right and you have your steel roller here which align this up all right so this is what makes this thing so accurate um is that it will always center up to the center no matter if you start with this right here or you start it right here or on this side it will always pull that implement over and center it back up okay so that is really 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 neat uh you will never have to worry about it and if you got something like uh anything that doesn't have hydraulics or pto on it you can just literally hook up to it and unhook from it without getting off your tractor this is the lever for it it works real easy they have a ring on it and you can either tie you a string or a small cable to pull from the tractor to release it or if you got long arms like me, you can, I can actually reach back and grab it and pull it. So for rakes, blades, box blades, implements like that, you will never have to get your tractor to hook up or unhook. All right. So this thing slides in uh, over the top. I'll show you how that works. As you lift up, it comes in. And like I said, no matter where you hit it, how off center you are, it's always going to pull it back to center. Allowing it to lift up. I mean, uh, line up as you start lifting. Whenever you start lifting, it's going to move that implement, whatever it needs, to center it up every single time. And like I said, and it locks on automatic. So as it comes down, it pushes down on the lock, pushing it in and dropping. Okay, so this thing is really cool. If you've got a lot of three point implements, if you're changing out several implements a day, or if you change out multiple implements a week, this thing is gonna be nice to have. This is, I think this is gonna really barnstorm here in the States now that it's here. Because it allows you to take any size tractor and any implement, and that's what the kind of design for this was, was to kind of get away from the category one, category two, and category three, and the older stuff uh, and just make them all universal one style and that way the older you get a newer tractor and you have these older implements or you can buy these older implements for discount prices no matter what style hitching the three-point implement is it will make it work this will work on any size tractor let me tell you guys this thing is not like Harbor Freight this thing is heavy it is well built it is heavy steel. I'm going to give you a close-up of it. It is, I mean, it's stout. It will fit on any size tractor out there. From the subcompacts all the way up to your largest. If it's a category one, two, or three, this thing will work on it. And I'll show you all that with the camera, how it hooks up. All right? So, another thing I noticed about this style hitch. 
particularly with the the um, subcompacts and the compacts. Some of your implements, you do not have enough height to lift it up for clearing. Now I'm dropping. That is about ground ground height on my tiller right now. The tiller sitting right here. That is almost dead perfect. Alright? And I'm gonna show you how high. If my tiller was sitting on the ground, how high would lift it. Okay? Look at the height of this. So if my tiller was sitting on the ground and down here, the bottom of my tiller would be somewhere in this neighborhood right now. Which is Don't right in here. The height. Off ground. Which is really cool. Alright, so let's take a closer look at this guys. Alright, so this bad boy, like I said, look at this. This this is half inch it looks like. Alright, so you have three pin settings for your top link. Right here. This is all solid. I mean this thing is is well braced and fabricated. Here's your lower ears, they're box style ears, right here for your lower control arms, and again, really solid. So it allows you to pivot. So because I can put my top link at the very bottom one, it allows it to rise up much higher because my top link is running like this. And instead of here, if I had to put it at the top, I would get lower, but I would be limited to how high I can lift. But by going to the bottom, since it already drops low enough, um, you know, all I need is the bottom one here. I get much more height out of it. All right, so let's go over some detailed information here. So, like I said, this is not Harbor Freight cheap. Um, it's pricier than that. But it's not as pricey as some of the others I've seen out there. Considering that you can make this work on any implement, no matter the year it was made, no matter who made it, no matter what size it was made for, what size tractor, you can make it work on anything, This any tractor this fits on, that implement would fit, okay? So let's go over some of the, this is an ATCO part, okay? ATCO makes this, all right? This is a A-frame quick hitch, and it runs 379 plus tax, all right? This is the duplicate receiving side and it's $95 plus tax. Now, originally, the way they designed this thing was you was to take this piece, weld it to your frame of your three-point implement, and then it was there forever. All right? Well, that means you have to buy one of these for every, every implement you are using. I think we can mod this sucker where it will work and we can move it from implement to implement, and we only have to buy one of these. And I'm gonna put this on there, and I'm gonna back my tractor up to my woods, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So, all right, so we got a total of like 474, 475 plus tax. And I know that sounds expensive, but if you consider the fact that if you was to buy one of these, you can start buying older three-point implements or use some that you thought you were not gonna be able to use no more, because it just won't hook up to your tractor, it will actually in the long run save you money. If you run a lot of equipment, you're doing a lot of change outs day after day after day, or multiple times in a day, it will it's worth it. It is really, really worth it. And that's why I bought one. Alright? Now one of the things I did find is the top link pin. Uh, the other pins fit just fine on the arms. This top link pin that came with it doesn't fit the top link of the GC. And I'm not sure why, if it's the pin or if it's the GC top link that's a little out, but I'm talking about this thing is such a fraction of fitting that I could probably put it on the, um, the grinding wheel and in two or three minutes have it fitting like no problem. Now, you can either do that, turn them, uh, or probably go down and get one from Tractor Supply that will fit your top link and fit it with no problem. You just gotta have this length in order to clear the ears that came on this. Okay, so now let me show you what I was talking about about 
how it fits the implements and what I want to do with it instead of what it was originally designed for. I think if we can make this one piece fits all, I think it makes it far more valuable. If I got to see here and, and you know, if you got to buy one for each implement, eh, I can see the issue with, man, I don't want to invest that kind of money unless you just got a bunch of older implements, period. But if you can make this sucker modded where it would fit anything and you can swap it from implement to implement and then you just hook on with this, it makes, it changes the value of this thing big time. So let me show y'all what I was talking about. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is how she lines up. And what you're supposed to do is spot weld it in here uh, and a couple other places down in here and that and on both sides. All right. And so that it sits every time uh, centered. Okay. So what I'm thinking of doing is making some kind of way of attaching it to the pins here, whether inside or out, here and on the other side, and then some kind of way of pinning it here. You know, and in doing so, it allows us to move it from one implement to another. And that will save a ton of money. Now, I'm going to post up in the description the part numbers for this and for this piece here. Now, this is just some channel. And, uh, I mean, you could fab several of these. Uh, if you want, you would go down to Steel Yard or Lowe's and probably pick up the channel and uh, make several of them. Uh, but, again, I'm thinking make this sucker where it can be smoothed from implement to implement. And now if I had three or four of them that I was going to change through, I might build me a couple of them or buy me a couple of them and rig them up to the ones I was going to change out several times in a day. And then one for the ones I change out once a week or something like that. But uh, I just, I think there's a better way making it more valuable by modding it where it will hook up to the three points and not welding it to the implement. So that way you can move this thing and you only have to buy them once or one or two on and on like that. Okay, so now then on my hydraulic lines, what I do is pretty simple. Uh, the bungee cord that holds all my lower control arms and everything stretches from right here, goes across and cramps into right here and it holds everything pretty much in place all right so one of the things i do uh, i did was when i found out about my shield i flipped two of my hoses right here above my shield they were actually underneath it came out like this one does underneath it i thought man if something comes loose on that pto right here it's going to rip them hoses all the i mean just tear them up so the only way i did not move above the shield was this one because it's got that 90 right back i don't know if you can get this on the camera or not right back there and uh in fact uh there is a video on facebook from michael he uh he he did his and it the line was actually loose so he had to tighten his up so that's something you might want to check on that is periodically is make sure that sucker is not loosening okay so i brought him up over and then what i do is i take the bungee cord wrap it around the hoses a couple of times and i just hook it right here where the light wire comes through and it holds my hoses up out the way with a nice big loop on it. You don't want to make a kink in this hose. You want a nice big loop in this hose. And uh, it keeps them all out my way and uh, nice and secure. And my arms can go up and down without, uh, without no problem and without pinching, no hazard of pinching the hoses or anything snagging them, cutting into the hoses. So that's what I do on mine. All right. And then when I'm done now, because I put them above the plate, they tend to be a little bit in the way of your feet, so you got to kind of maneuver them around when you put your backhoe back on, but it's not a big issue, and it's, it's safe. It keeps them up there. It keeps them tight. The, all three lines are here. Uh, you know, you ain't got to deal with it, so that's what I do with my hoses. All right, now, something else too, guys. If you notice, I'm wearing a Massey Ferguson hat, and I got this hat as a gift. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to the Copland family. Uh, Quentin Copland uh, seen it, and uh, he, 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 Justin Copland said that he thought of me, so uh, they sent it to me. Um, big shout out to you. Uh, I really appreciate it. And if uh, I'm gonna put the Copland family's, uh, they are one of my uh, channels I'm subscribed to, and but I'm gonna put a link in the description, and y'all go check their channel out. And at uh, a great family, uh, they got a Kubota actually, so uh, we might have to work on that. You hear me, Justin? Just a little bit. No, I'm joking. Look, I'm a tractor lover. 
I don't love a particular type of brand because tractors are built to do work. And that's what I love about them is they're built to do work. And if you're happy with your Kubota or you're happy with your Mahindra or you're happy with whatever tractor you get, that's all that really matters. Is it doing the work you need it to do? Are you happy with it? And do you get a good value for it? And the Massey fulfilled all three of them for me. And that's why I, I love my Massey. But anyway, look, I want y'all to have a great weekend. And I appreciate all my subscribers and all the views and all the comments. And I appreciate the, the questions and that asked. We are on Facebook. I do have a community on Facebook. It's called Learning My Tractor on Facebook. I named it that instead of naming it Massey or anything. Because, again, I wanted everybody with every kind of tractor to be part of the group, the community. So if you got a Facebook account, look us up, Louisiana Aquaponics on Facebook or Learning My Tractor on Facebook communities. And uh, come join us over there. All right? Y'all have a great one.